Hi, I'm Jade, Product Manager for User Experience and Customization at Okta. And today, I'm really excited to talk to you about some features that we're, really, we're releasing into early access. Custom URL domains, custom Okta hosted signing pages, and custom Okta hosted error pages. So, customization is really important to us here at Okta. We care deeply about the experience that we give to our customers, our IT admins, and our developers. But we also really care about the experience of the users that you care about and you design products for. So with these features, we're really hoping to allow you to be able to build really custom branding and really custom user experiences for the people and the customers that you design, um, while making it as easy as possible for you to get yourself up and running and going. So, how can you customize with Opta today? Well, there's a couple of ways. You may be familiar with the out-of-the-box customizations where you can adjust the wallpaper, you can adjust the logo and some of the colors on, uh, on your Okta org out-of-the-box. But if you want to go to the other end of the spectrum and you have a development team, we can use our Okta hosted Orton APIs and other APIs to build really intricate experiences um, into your existing user flows. In the middle, you may be familiar with our open source JavaScript library, the Okta hosted uh, sign-in widget, where a lot of the things are pre-built for you, where you can download your library into it immediately into your application and get yourself up and running uh, yourself. But now with these new features, you can have all of that liberty built in for you, but all the hosting, the scaling, and all the work is done from Okta, where all you have to worry about is building your own application and Okta does all the rest for you. So what are the components of the sign-in experience that you have to design for and customize? Well, you have the domain, like the, the URL that you go and visit every day. You've also got the look and feel of the sign-in page, what that page looks like, what it says, and what are the images and uh, design of that page. You've also got the emails and the notifications that the end user receives, their recovery flows, their registration flows, and uh, at the end, you've also got to think about what happens when things don't go to plan, the error pages, and how do you help your users get back to track and also brand and customize that to your application so they know that it's you and the website that they trust. So, without much further ado, I would like to introduce Santosh, our, my, our staff engineer, who's going to walk you through a demo on how to get this going. I'm a Stormtrooper and I built a Stormtrooper HQ application which I'm protecting with Okta. But I don't want to build sign-in authentication, but I want to show you how far we can go with just Okta. So today, I will have to go to stormtrooperhq.okta.com. But now, I can actually go to signin.stormtrooperhq.com. This is actually the sign-in page. Here, we only have two users, so the username is hard-coded as Stormtrooper or Darth Vader. So now when Stormtroopers can sign in onto this application, this sends them to the Stormtrooper application where they can see all the things that they need to see to uh, do their work as a Stormtrooper. But we can sign out back out again, go back to the custom sign-in page, and now we can sign in as Darth Vader. And the, and the sign-in widget has pre-populated the username. Now, when users try and sign in as Darth Vader, he's able to come to his secret lair and his secret diary where he uh, confesses all of his deepest sins. But let's think about an error scenario, like when I go to the wrong page or when, let's say, I fat finger the URL. Then I actually get sent to a custom hosted error page, which is also hosted by Okta. So, the only thing I really had to worry about here as a Stormtrooper developer is the actual applications. Okta handled the sign-in experience, error experiences, and everything in between. And now Santos is going to show you how you can do all of this directly within the admin dashboard within minutes. All the customization you saw were done on Stormtroopers org. So let's take another org from scratch and see how we can apply the same settings. I'm already logged in into Jade's org, and this is our admin dashboard. When you go under settings, customization, under general, you can already see that she has set up our custom URL domain to point to jade.sigma.corp.us. Let's take a look at how our custom org looks like right now. 
You can see that she has her custom wallpaper, a custom logo and some custom text. Let's see how you can change that experience into the experience we saw in the demo. Under custom sign in tab, you would be able to see an editor and other settings that are related to your custom sign in page. Let's do a quick preview. You can see that it looks very similar to what we saw in our custom org. You can see that she has the custom wallpaper, the custom logo and the text. These are already ported over for the ease of customization. If you are an admin who would like to just change the text for your custom uh, sign in page, you can do so by just changing the labels on the left hand pane of the settings. If you would like to do further advanced customizations, you can do so by utilizing the HTML in the editor. You can see macros that, that exist within the code. For example, the page title will automatically get populated with the actual page title, which con consists of your org. And you can see that there is another macro that is called the sign in widget resources. And this will get populated with the necessary JavaScript and CSS for, uh, needed for your sign in widget to work. If you're unfamiliar with our sign in widget, you can go to github slash octa slash octa iPhone sign in iPhone widget, and you can reach our open source sign in widget repository. Our sign in widget takes in a whole bunch of configurations. For example, if you would like to pre-populate your sign in widget with a username, you can do so by passing in a username parameter. Let's see how we can do the same for our custom sign in page. Getting back to our HTML, you can see that we have an instance of our Okta sign in widget and the configuration parameters can be passed in via a configuration variable. Let's pass in a configuration username variable. So config.username equals, let's say if you want to prefill with Strom Trooper, I'm just going to do so. And you can preview the changes immediately. You can see that the username field is already pre-populated with Strom Trooper for you. We have already made a, a template which reflects the Strom Trooper org. And I'm just going to paste that over here in the editor. Let's preview that once to make sure that it is what we needed. This looks exactly as we wanted it to be. And before we actually save and publish, let's take a look at our custom org again. This is how our custom org is currently. And once I save and publish, you can see that our custom org would now reflect the new refreshed experience. Once we land on our custom error pages tab, you can see that we have a very similar editor with some HTML in it necessary for the error pages to work. Let's look, let's take a preview of our error pages. You can see that this is a very generic error page and we've already ported over the custom wallpaper and the custom org logo for this particular organization. Taking a look at the HTML, it has macros very similar to the sign in page. For example, the org name macro will get replaced with the actual org name. And there are also other macros like HTTP status code that will get replaced with the HTTP error code on runtime. For example, this will get replaced with a 404 or a 400 or a 500 based on the error. And you can use these macros to provide a custom experience for your users. Let's try adding in a custom element into our error page. I want to pass in a message that says have a good day every single time a, a user lands in an error page. Let's take a preview. And you can see that this custom element gets added onto our error page immediately. Now we already have the template that we used for the custom error pages we saw in the demo. And I'm just going to paste the whole HTML within the editor. Let's take a preview at it once. It looks good. Now before I save and publish, let's take a look at how an error page in Jade's org look like right now. And after I save and publish, 
her users would have the new experience. I reach her custom org. And if I try to reach an error page, you can see that the, the experience is now customized. So thanks so much for watching this demo on Octa hosted landing pages and error pages. One thing to watch out for is you would need custom URL domains to pause this to set up. Some other things you should be aware of is that your existing Okta orgs, your OctaPreview.com account, your Okta.com account, and your OctaMER.com account will still have the old look and feel from our existing templates. So if you'd like to get started, we recommend that you contact support at Okta.com or your customer success manager to get a speaker flag switched on on your org so you can start testing. So thanks so much for watching with us uh, and please stay tuned to Octa Education for more interesting videos on new features that we're releasing. Thanks for watching.